Hello and welcome to today's video guide about IoT device management on the Grandstream UCM 6300 series. In this video, we will cover how to integrate IP cameras with UCM 6300 series to allow endpoint devices to access the video from the IP camera. We will demonstrate how to use Grandstream Wave and a Grandstream IP video phone to call into an IP camera and stream the video feed. The device management functionality is designed to allow the UCM to pull a live video stream from the IP camera using RTSP protocol. Therefore, it is required that the IP camera supports RTSP to be able to integrate it with the UCM 6300 series. It is also worth mentioning that this functionality is available on the UCM 6300 series only. When the IP camera is successfully integrated with the UCM, endpoint devices such as IP video phones and soft phones can call IP cameras to gain access to their video feed. These calls will be answered automatically by the IP cameras. At the same time, multiple endpoints can call an IP camera and pull a video stream. Now that we explained what IoT device management on the UCM 6300 series does, let's go ahead and demonstrate how to set it up. I will configure the Grandstream IP camera GSC3620 with the UCM 6300 so that endpoint devices can call into the camera and stream video. So I'm on the web interface of the UCM. Let's go ahead and log in. So for device management configuration, we go to device management, then IP camera devices. This UCM is running firmware version 1.0.15.10 and currently device management supports only IP cameras. So let's go ahead and add one of our cameras. So I have a GSC 3620, as I mentioned, deployed in my local area network. The device number that we need to assign to this camera needs to be a unique number that will be used as an extension. So in my case, I'm just gonna use 3620. So I will just call this camera front door. And the protocol that is currently supported uh, under device management is RTSP. So we're gonna keep that one. And under the IP address, we're gonna enter the IP address of the camera. So I know that I have uh, a camera using this IP, which is 192.168.0.29. Uh, you also need to find the RTSP port. By default, it's 554. Uh, we can log into the camera so we can confirm the port number for RTSP. Because certain cameras might use a different port for RTSP. So let's go ahead and log into the camera so we can get the port number used for RTSP. So for the GSC IP cameras, the RTSP port is available under system settings, access settings. And the port currently used is 554. We can always change that, but we're just gonna keep the default one, which is 554. Uh, this camera is protected with a username, which is the login username and password. So I'm just gonna enter that information here. And under the allowed members, this is for setting up permissions to uh, extensions that will be able to call the camera to uh, stream video. So I'm just gonna select, for example, this group of extensions, all right? Uh, so only these extensions will be able to call into the camera to stream video. And the way you call into the camera is using the device number. In, in this case, we uh, chose to use 3620, but you can use any other number as long as it's not being used by an extension or an internal feature that is built into the UCM. So it has to be unique uh, so you can assign it to that IP camera. Okay, so we have everything configured. So let's go ahead, save and apply the changes. On the camera side, there's nothing that we need to do because by default, the IP camera is configured 
to stream video over RTSP protocol. To demonstrate how to call into the camera and stream video, I will use Grandstream Wave app. Just remember that to call into this camera, we're going to use the device number, which is 3620. So let me get the Wave app. So I will go into calls. Then I will dial 3620, which is the device number. Then I will start a video call. So once we initiate the call from Wave, the UCM will pull the video stream from the IP camera using RTSP and then send it to the uh, endpoint device that is calling into the camera. So now, as you can see, I have access to live feed from the IP camera. Besides calling into the camera, let me first hang up this call. Uh, you can also include IP cameras in your meetings. Let's say, for example, you want to create a meeting and you want to have the video feed from the IP camera as a part of the meeting. Uh, so the process is very simple. You just use the device number in the invitee and then you add the other extensions that you would like to uh, invite, then start the meeting. So once you start the meeting, the camera will answer automatically. So if you go under participants, you will see that the camera is part of the meeting now. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this meeting. So the same way we called into the IP camera using Grandstream Wave, you can use the same process from an IP video phone to call into the camera so that you can get the live feed from the IP camera. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment below if you have a request for any future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all our videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.